Thank you for joining us. Today my guest is Katie Linden. Uh, Katie, what are you up to? You're always so busy. <laughs> exciting time of the year. I think January is actually one of my favorite months and a lot of people get that holiday lull and they're like, oh, winter blues, but it's actually the time for the Consumer Electronics Show. So always in the beginning of January, we see in 2016 and beyond the big technologies that are going to be coming out in the year. So this year, I got to get my hands on some of the new and latest technologies and those are the ones I was going to share with you today. Well, I hear how excited you are. So have at it. What do you have for us? All right, let's start in the world of smart cars because that is a big trend and theme this year. And smarter vehicles across the board. You know, believe it or not, in the next three to five years, we're going to start seeing self driving cars. And the whole idea behind those, and we've seen them on the sides of Google, and now we're seeing a lot more capabilities uh, in and out of vehicle. Uh, smarter vehicles, and the whole point behind that is to have more safer and less accidents. So it's very neat on the auto side, and also we're seeing a lot of electric vehicles. Uh, GM just announced a new uh, Bolt EV, which is actually around $30,000 and 200 miles on a charge. So it's pretty incredible that now electric vehicles are becoming a lot more affordable for the everyday consumer. So I think first things first, you're going to hear a lot about auto technologies across the board, but also smarter vehicles and self-driving cars. Well, I can't wait because I'm not very well at parking and driving, <laughs> so I'm going to be probably first in line, Katie. And what you else know, are you seeing? <laughs> you and me both on that one. <laughs> Next up, I want to hit you with virtual reality because this is a big theme that I've watched and got very excited in terms of watching it grow in the marketplace and finally now becoming available to everyday consumers. So virtual reality is actually pretty amazing. There's a headsets that you can purchase from the worlds of Oculus, which is owned by Facebook, to Sony, uh, to HTC. Was in the hat, which has an awesome unit called the Vive. And what's really neat is it's this whole immersive experience. And right now you're seeing the HTC Vive. And what's neat is you can be front and center at a Cirque du Soleil show. You can be jumping off a building and seeing what that fear is like when inside of you. Or you can just be running through a virtual crazy gaming world. So I think, you know, the world of VR, as it's called, virtual reality, is really going to change the game when it comes to gaming, entertainment, but also in the world of physical therapy and maybe even how you approach a doctor's office or a dentist office these days. So that'll be another big theme that you see 2016 and beyond. Oh, now that, that's so exciting. I, just, I, I can't wait. And it's integrating so much into our everyday lives. It's no longer sci-fi. It's now reality for us. Yeah, and I think, you know, too, with that, the first time you experience it and you have this, you know, HUD on your face, you're like, you realize how immersive it is. And you almost feel transported into this whole different environment. So you really have to... I guess see it to believe it. And the, the first time you experience that whole environment, you're like, whoa, this is intense. Well, I'm going to the dentist today. I'm going to ask him, why don't they have this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Katie, what else do you have? Next up, let's talk about the world of not comms because there's this big revolution happening on the internet right now. And of course, we're all familiar with going to web addresses that are .net, .com, .org. Well, what's really cool is the internet is kind of having a little shakeup, and now there's hundreds of new not com names available. So, for example, you can head on over to a site called name.kitchen for inspiration, and you can purchase things like .pizza, .wtf, Dot media, dot photography. I myself is, I have actually scooped up a couple of different options. I have katie.show, katie.gifts, katie.technology. And what's neat is it's allowing these businesses or individuals like myself that we have our brands to stand out and be more memorable and more meaningful. And it's just really exciting to now not be typing in dot com on the web, but typing in things like dot pizza. I mean, who doesn't want that? <laughs> Will it be? Yeah, who doesn't? You remember that. So will yours just be uh, um, dot show unique to you? Other people can be dot show or just you? That's a great question. So yeah, actually, you can. Uh, anybody else can go on there and get dot show. So I've actually scooped up Katie dot show. But yes, anybody else that wants to have that extension can go right on and purchase it. And I think it's a lot more unique. You know, with my podcast, it's uh, I have a technology podcast. I've actually called it. Katie dot show. So it's it's made it easy for people to remember when they want to key it in online, but also it's just the name of the show. So it kind of serves two purposes. 
It is. I like that, Katie. Yeah. I really like that. So my audience is going to remember to go and find you. I like that. All yeah. right, as we wrap it up, what else do you have? Yeah, and I'm wrapping it up, and right in front of me, as you can see, all these different smart gadgets. I think we're starting to see, and continuing to see, rather, a push in the smarter home. You know, smart, smart homes and smarter fitness and smarter things across the board. We're even seeing a lot of options for babies. It's really cool to have all these devices now tied to the Internet and making our everyday lives easier. Easier. When you can have a smart sprinkler, which yes, on paper sounds absolutely crazy, but guess what? If it's going to save you uh, better for the environment and save water, but also save you money, why not? So I think, you know, smarter homes and smart fitness and smart wearables across the board is a good thing. It is. I have a refrigerator that talks to me about everything, and I don't know if that was so smart, Katie, <laughs> but it's a great fridge. Looks good, too, in my kitchen. I'm impressed. These are, these are such great products. Where would you send us if you want us to find out more information? Yeah, absolutely. So first things first, you can head on over to my podcast at katie.show and then head on over to name.kitchen for some really cool, unique URLs that are out there and available on the market. And then, of course, you can head on over to any of these company sites that I mentioned today. I feel smarter just talking to you. Yay. You must stay, out all, stay up all night. You must be excited about all this technology. Absolutely. I don't sleep much. <laughs> Katie Linden, no, I, they say you are the best when they pitch you each time, and you are the best. Thank, Thank you, you for so being much. my guest on the Belder BB Show. Thank you. I appreciate it.